Hi everybody, thank you for coming back to my channel, Karma Fox. This is a reading for those of you who believe you may be in a twin flame connection. This is a timeless reading, so whenever you find this reading is exactly when you are supposed to hear the reading. Um, and this is, like I said, if you believe you are in a spiritual or a twin flame connection. Okay, so what I'm going to do, guys, is I'm going to pull the your energy on this side, your twin flames energy on this side. I'll pull the energy of the connection, and then we'll pull the outcome of the connection. At the end, I'm also going to pull the twin flame messages to see um, what kind of messages that if your twin flame could tell you, they would have to say to you, okay? We'll also clarify everything. So let's go ahead and get started. So Spirit, can I have the energy of the listener, please? Energy of the listener for the Twin Flames. Energy of the listener for the Twin Flame Connections. Energy of the listener for the Twin Flame Connection. All right, so we start out with the Three of Wands in the reverse. We have the Ace of Pentacles. And we have the Six of Swords in the reverse. Okay, so what I'm seeing here is that while you would really like to have a new and stable start with your Twin Flame, that is what you're hoping for, that's what you're longing for, um, there may be a sense of pessimism because you, you may feel as if you're tired of waiting for this to occur. You've waited a long time. You're tired of waiting for it to occur. But at the same time, you're feeling kind of stuck, like you can't really move, move on. So there's a longing for you to have this, this sense of abundance, this sense of moving forward in a successful um, connection here or if you are in separation to come together into a new start, but you're kind of feeling stuck in between. You've waited and waited, you're feeling pessimistic about it, but you, you just can't move forward with someone else. So let's look and see what their energy is. Show me the energy of my listeners twin flame. Okay, that's a little much, but we're keeping that one. Okay, show me the energy of my listeners twin flame, please. All right, so in their energy, what I'm seeing is the Eight of Swords, the Queen of Cups, the Four of Pentacles is coming out with the Two of Swords. So in their energy, what I'm seeing here is that they are relying upon their intuition. Um, they do have love for you. There's a lot of love here, in fact. And they are pretty much, even though they may not be saying it, they are relying upon their intuition right now with regard to that. Um, they're definitely holding on to this connection. And with the Two of Swords here, they are recognizing that this is a spiritual connection, which is why they're holding on to it, actually. Um, some of them might be a little guarded as well. Um, and the reason that they might be a little guarded is because they may feel as if they are not good enough for this connection. Yeah, as if you're the princess or prince and they're the frog. Um, yeah, so there's a sense of maybe not feeling quite good enough for this connection. Um, and so with that, that's causing some confusion. It, it, it basically boils down to almost a sense of um, almost a sense of insecurity because of a lack of self-worth here. And so that plus they're they're trying to make a decision with regard to this connection and I will tell you that they're in conflict between their head and their heart. It may not make sense to them. The connection may not make sense to them, and because of that, it, it makes a, a conflict for them. 
but they're learning to lean into their intuition more and more um, because I, I feel like they cannot get away from the connection um, with the Eight of Swords. Um, they can't free themselves from this connection and that has them mystified. All right, so let's look at the energy of the connection itself. Show me the energy of this connection. So remember guys that everybody is on a different timeline. Um, so this may or may not be your reading. And if it's not your reading, um, that's okay. There's a lot of good readers out there. So just take what resonates for you. Leave the rest for someone else. Um, okay, so we have um, for the connection, we have judgment in reverse. So there may be a feeling here as if there are not enough opportunities in this connection, as if, you know, the opportunities are fading away, that, you know, one or the other party may not be willing to revisit this, may not be willing to give this connection a chance. Okay, so what is directly affecting this connection? The Knight of Cups. So there is love. There's definitely love. Um, with the Knight of Cups, what's directly affecting it is somebody opening up and, and offering that love. You know, making that offer of love. That's what's needed here. All right. And Spirit, show me the outcome. Show me the outcome. Show me the outcome. Okay, so the Knight of Wands. Okay, so we have the Knight of Cups, but we wind up with the Knight of Wands. So, you know, for some of you, um, there might be more of a um, lean towards the physical aspects of the connection versus, you know, offering the physical aspects versus offering the love aspects. So be careful of that because you know, the Knight of Wands can just kind of rush in, get what they want, and then rush back out. Um, there is love here, but there is going, there's also a lot of desire here. There's a lot of physical desire. And so there may be a temptation to just act on the physical desire. So be careful of that. And we'll definitely clarify that as well. Um, bottom of the deck, we do have the Ace of Swords. So that is truthful communication. It is, um, you know, it, it's ba and this is underlying energy here. So the truth of this connection, I feel like, is going to be either discussed or it's going to come out. But, you know, that's all about truth. And it's also all about communication. So that's good. That's really good. All right, so let's clarify. Why is the Three of Wands here? Why is the Three of Wands in reverse? Okay. Okay, so we have Judgment, we have the High Priestess in Reverse, and we have the Queen of Cups in Reverse. Okay, so you're really desiring to bring this connection back together. Um, I do see that you're desiring to bring it back together, but I think that I think that um, there's a sense of pessimism and it may be because of something that you found out and it's caused you to kind of pull back. Um, it might be you're not really using your intuition in this particular instance here um, and that might be what's causing you to pull back. So it could be either, it could be both. Um, but I do definitely see you kind of pulling back, kind of holding back. Um, it's because I feel like your heart has been hurt. Um, now, remember, the way I have set up this reading, it doesn't matter if you are the Divine Feminine or the Divine Masculine. This side is the listener, okay? And this side is for the person that you are listening for, okay? So regardless if you're the Divine Feminine or you're the Divine Masculine, the listener is on this side, so that's who I'm reading for now. 
and then the other person is your person, okay? So what I'm, I'm seeing, listener, is that with the Three of Wands here in reverse, it's left you feeling a bit pessimistic. You do want to bring it together, though, but I think your heart is hurt. Why is the um, Ace of Pentacles here? All right, we have the Queen of Swords, and we have the Strength card. Yeah, you're willing to listen to what this person will say, all right? But I also think that, listener, you are also, if it's not going to meet your requirements, um, because I feel like you're going to stand your ground. I feel like you're very strong. And I feel like you want this to come together, but you're going to listen to what they have to say. You're going to analyze it. You're going to see if it meets the requirements to the connection that you're hoping for. And if it doesn't, you're going to, you know, you're going to be very strong and you're going to cut this person out. You have a very specific um, requirement of what you're looking for in this connection. So um, why is the Six of Swords here in reverse? Why are you feeling stuck? Okay. So you had a tower moment. You had a tower moment with this person when you walked away. Yeah, you, you've had a tower moment with this person. You've walked away, but you still feel emotionally tied. You're still stuck. You're, you're feeling as if there's not anyone else that you want to, to be with. But you did walk away from this person. You, you basically drew some boundaries over here. And you've said, you know... I want a brand new start. I'd like to bring this together, but I I want a, a connection. So come correct or don't come at all. Um, and I feel as if you might be feeling a little pessimistic about it at this point. This tower moment hurt you. So either they walked away or you walked away, but it caused a tower moment for you. Let's look at their energy. Because I can tell you right now, um, they, they're feeling trapped. You feel stuck. They're mirroring you, which is very um, common. Um, they they feel trapped because they don't understand why they can't just leave the connection. They This might have been somebody who has been able to leave connections in the past, but for some reason they can't, and they don't really comprehend why. Why is the Eight of Swords here? All right, so we have the um, Eight of Wands and we have the Five of Wands in reverse. Yeah, they do not want to fight with you. They they also want communication. Um, they they want to they want to communicate, but they don't want to fight. So they're afraid of fighting. They don't want to fight. Why is the Queen of Cups here? So we have the Five of Cups in the reverse, and we have the Knight of Swords in the reverse. Again, I'm seeing that they don't want to argue. They they definitely don't want to argue. Um, they have love for you. They also have some regrets for the way things um, have gone, but they are feeling more optimistic. Um, yeah, they they're beginning to feel more optimistic. They do have love for you, and they know it. They know it. They can't walk away from this connection. They want to talk with you, but they just don't want the conflict. So whatever this tower moment was, um, they don't want the conflict. Let's, um, can I get three for the bottom energy? This person is holding back. Um, they're not really speaking their truth right now either about how they feel about you. They, with the Queen of Cups here um, in the, and then the uh, Knight of Swords in the reverse, they're they're holding back and they're not speaking their truth. They're not really telling you how they feel about you. But they do have feelings for you for sure. Okay. All right, so we have the Page of Cups. We have Death in Reverse. And we have the Empress in Reverse. Yeah. So they can't let you go, and they know it. 
they're holding on to you. They know they can't let you go. They know they love you. Um, but they also know that they have not treated you um, the way they should. They haven't honored this connection. So they're aware of that. They are absolutely aware of that. And, and their, com their confusion comes in that they can't decide what to do with this connection. But they know they can't release it. They can't let it go. So they're just, they're sitting here in a, in a state of confusion, unable to let go, unable to make the offer, and really not honoring the connection. And they're not telling you how it is that they really feel. So that's where we're going to ask for um, the Twin Flame messages, and, and we're going to see what it is they have to say. Because we, I, the underlying energy here is that you want the truth, and you want the communication, and I don't blame you. All right, so let's see the energy of the connection. Show me the energy of this connection. Okay, so we have the fool in reverse, and we have the devil. There's that strong connection again. Um, so you're afraid to take this leap of faith with this person. And I imagine it has to do with this tower moment that occurred in the past. And the, the, the fact that this person is not really honoring the connection. They're not treating you with the respect that you want. And so if they're not going to give you this brand new, abundant, stable start, you're going to cut them out. You're very strong and you're not going to settle for anything that is not, you know, what you want. And right now they know, trust me, they know that they're not treating you um, with the respect that you deserve. They understand it and, and they also understand it's toxic. They know it's toxic. Um, that is why you are hesitant to take a leap of faith towards them. And because you see the toxicity that's present and they can't let this connection go. Why is the Knight of Cups here? Why is the Knight of Cups here? Okay, so we have the Nine of Swords in the reverse, and we have the Four of Cups in the reverse. So, honestly, what needs to take place is your person needs to come forward with this offer of love. That is what is going to be needed um, for them. They need to recognize the connection and, and offer the emotion, offer the love. They need to offer you love in this connection. Doing so is going to relieve the anxiety, relieve the emotional distress that you have felt um, which will enable you then to take that leap of faith. And it will also end the toxic cycle that they're in because the toxicity has to do with them not, not validating the connection and not um, deciding to recognize the abundance, recognize the divinity of the connection. And so, and they're avoiding conflict like, like a big dog. Okay, so... I do think that they are a bit more optimistic about doing that, but I would have rather seen a action card. Um, so let's see, um, let's get three for the outcome. Okay, now keep in mind guys, I only do, do these uh, twin flame readings, so you won't see a lot of them. I only do them um, when I am guided to do so. Um, I don't do them on a regular basis, but when I'm guided to do them by my guides, I do them. So, you know, that's why you don't see a lot of them. All right, so we have the Knight of Wands um, in the outcome. That is more of a physical interlude, okay? Um, I think that Listener, your twin flame is going to approach you, but instead of approaching you with the offer of love, 
and the respect and, you know, honoring the connection in the way that they, they know that they need to do so, they're going to continue this toxic behavior and it's going to be more of a physical type of thing, um, more of that in and out type of energy um, at, at a minimum. And I think it's going to make you feel upset. I think you're going to feel a, a bit betrayed. And I don't think you're going to be on the same page. And I also think you're going to turn them down. When you turn them down, it's going to make them feel betrayed, ironically. So you both are going to feel somewhat betrayed. And, but I think it might move you closer to ending this cycle. Um, but the two of you just are not going to be on the same page with regard to this. And it's because this is a toxic cycle and you have really stood your ground. I think that, you know, there has been a, when you walked away or they walked away, um, you've stood your ground, but there was a tower moment here, which naturally has left you with a hesitancy to jump back into anything. Um, they need to approach you correctly. Right now, the two of you are not going to be on the same page. Um, they're leaning more into the physical aspects of the connection, and there is a strong, strong physical connection here. Um, but there's also a lot of love here, and they're keeping silent about that. And so, you know, they're not approaching in the correct way. They're continuing this toxic behavior, unfortunately. All right, so... Um, bottom of the deck, we do have the Hermit in reverse. So if you have been out of contact with this person, um, you will be getting contact. Um, they're going to come out of their shell, so to speak. And I do think that you're seeking that honest communication. You are going to get communication with them. Um, let's go ahead now and pull from the Twin Flame journey messages and see... If this person could, you know, tell you what it is they're holding back here, what would they tell you? Okay? Spirit, what, what would this person tell our listener? What would they tell our listener? Show me. What would they say? What would this person say? Is that it? Okay. Okay, so the first card that we have is, I'm a better person because of you. So they want you to know that they feel that they are a better person because of you. Being a part has been life-changing for me. Oh, and I can see this so clearly. Your intensity frightens and allures me all at the same time. This is part of the reason, guys, that this person is so sexually attracted to you. Because that the, the sexual attraction this person has to you is immense. Is it possible to forgive and forget? Be careful with this, guys, because, um, like I said, knowing is half the battle. And when they approach, um, be sure that they approach you in the correct way and that they are, you know, not just approaching you because of the intensity of the sexual attraction here. Um, like I said, it's palpable. They do have a lot of love for you, but I don't think the two of you are on the same page just yet. And you have been really standing your ground, holding your, your um, position here. And at this point, I think that they are, you know, leaning more into the toxic, toxic um, behaviors. So when they, you know, are asking here, is it possible to forgive and forget? Be sure it's for the right reasons. Okay, well, I hope this has been helpful for you. Um, like I said, I only do these when I am guided by my guides to do so. And this is a timeless reading. So whenever you find this reading is when it is meant for you. Um, and so until I see you in YouTube land, namaste.